It's Tuesday, December 16th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki. Welcome to the show. Coming to you today on location under the sea. You know, with all this talk of corruption and breaking the public trust involving the vacant Senate seat in the state of Illinois, it's time to turn our attention to a state known for its polite, courteous politics and its gentle, mild-mannered politicians, New York. In that state, the only person getting any attention for the Senate seat, at least nationally, is Carolyn Kennedy, who had years and years of experience at being a very cute little girl. She's been mentioned and hyped as a possible replacement for Hillary Clinton in the Senate, and after a few weeks of playing footsie, she is now in the race for real. Kennedy has called Governor Patterson, she has called Chuck Schumer, and by God, she has called Al Sharpton. So you know she's serious. Governor Patterson's vote is, of course, the only one that ultimately matters. Also, in an apparent effort to bolster her credentials, Kennedy recently fixed her delinquent attorney registration, which had lapsed. Some see her being a lawyer as one of her qualifications for the Senate job. And with this step, she boldly demonstrated to the elites of New York State that she has what it takes to pay a $350 registration fee. Next up, I have some big election news. The Associated Press now officially reports that Barack Obama has won the Electoral College with 365 votes to John McCain's 173. America, can you believe it? We have elected our first black president. Gosh, you know, America, I kind of thought you'd be more excited or at least passively interested in this historic news. Nothing, huh? I guess maybe you think it's old news. I mean, look, up until Monday, we all had a pretty good idea of who was going to win the Electoral College. But on Monday, the electors actually met to cast their votes. And while other news outlets were content to make premature projections, we here at Kentucky TV go by the book. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. What am I thinking? Actually, it turns out that the election is really not complete until Congress counts up the electoral votes on January 6th. So, um, nothing official yet. Barack Obama may or may not be president. This thing could still come down to the wire. Please, please keep thinking politics is interesting. Finally, the shoe-throwing meme is catching on. The New York Times reports that an American military patrol in Iraq got shoes thrown at them. People in Iraq are waving their shoes, and anti-Bush activists plan to throw shoes at the White House on his last day there, January 19th. Now, honestly, this is sad for America in terms of its image abroad, but look on the bright side. I'll be expecting some kind of shoe-throwing rap parody song to make the most viewed list on YouTube very soon. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash Kotecki for more videos, and don't worry, I do not plan to be attacked by a piranha tomorrow right here on Kotecki TV.